super typhoon Haiyan, the strongest storm ever recorded in history, has plowed across the central Philippines. Here's a look at what it looks like from space. Storm clouds completely covered the entire Philippine nation, stretching more than a thousand miles. That's equal distance between Florida and Canada. As you can see on this radar map, it hit the region this morning, leaving catastrophic damage behind. Now it's headed for Vietnam. And 23 ABC has obtained new video of rescue efforts and damage. Two barges collided, sending dozens of people into the ocean. Authorities say at least three people are dead, seven others are injured, and officials are still trying to find out how many more are missing. Many local residents in Kern County are still waiting for contact with friends and relatives. And 23 ABC's Lindsay Adams spoke with one woman who has no way of knowing if her family is safe. Super Typhoon Haiyan ripped through the central Philippines on Friday, as big as the area between Florida and Canada. The Philippines news agency says the storm surge caused an unconfirmed 20 drownings, and more could be on the way. The island has no telephone, no electricity, nothing. So you basically live by kerosene lamp. Workers at the Gourmet Filipino Cuisine say they have no way of knowing if the Super Typhoon has impacted their family back home. My relatives in Manila, I don't know, because I heard the, the rain too, and the rain is so strong, so I don't know. Connie has sisters, a brother, nieces, nephews, and friends all in the eastern part of the Philippines, an area of the country that has been impacted by the storm. Connie's been in the United States for over two decades, but remembers how bad the storms used to be. Late in the 60s, there was also a typhoon. I was in elementary, sixth grade. And it was called Wilming that passes through that area in the Philippines, eastern part. You can hear galvanized iron. Haiyan is reaching gusts as strong as 235 miles per hour and could be the strongest tropical cyclone in history. I'm just praying they're all okay. Everybody is okay. Friends and other people are okay. In Bakersfield, Lindsay Adams, 23 ABC.